Hey guys, how you doing? Just give me an update of how the cube is doing since uh, my last video. And as you can see, this is the video from uh, when I was having my issue. And as you can see, there is rather dino or cyano all over the entire tank. Um, to be honest, I have never seen dino up in person before, so I can't really say if it's actually dino or not. But uh, cyano, I believe, is a lot more slimier than than these hairy strings, these long hairy strings. And it's not pure algae, as you can see, because it'll be more clumped up into balls per se. Um, that's their distinguish noticeable feature they have but I have hairy long strings all over the tank at this point um, and I decided to you know do a video and actually uh, ask for any of your advice see what it was this and that I got some few tips and uh, advice and some opinions as well based on what they thought it was so um, based on my testings of my uh, 0.25 uh, phosphate and um, 35 parts per million on my nitrates I'm assuming that came out from my, the food I was using and also could have been results of the two dead dwarf fish uh, the dwarf angels that passed away on me okay so based on the entire situation that's where I come down to that it could have been the, just the new food or to the fish resulting in this outbreak. And um, this is the next shot. Okay guys, so this is the results of uh, the three day blackout and the bubbling, uh, micro scrubbing, one or the other, whatever you want to call it and uh, noticeable noticeable difference there's actually nothing left behind um, and I'm very 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 happy with that I just hope that it continues this way um, for this procedure I we uh, I put back online on my uh, GFO and uh, I was just hoping that the GFO will help with this, including with the Chato, that you know it always grows like a beast, and hopefully that it will stabilize and uh, maintain the current precision. Um, I did vacuum everything into a filter sock uh, prior to the blackout, prior to covering the entire cube um, with uh, cardboard, even even the surface. Uh, the top of the tank, I even covered that as well. Um, I did leave the light for the Chato on um, the entire time. I usually always leave it 24-7. Um, so I left that on just in case if I was to see an outbreak in the sump. And currently I don't have any outbreak in the sump. This entire outbreak has happened only in the display. Um, and as you can see, it's nothing, nothing everywhere. It's it's beautiful. It's just how I always had it. And uh, I want to thank everybody who actually saw my last videos and um, the advice that you know I got from uh, DC's Reefers Neighborhood on the Group Me page. And uh, you know, some of you guys you know, gave me some good tips there as well. And uh, uh, Dave, Dave, you also are are fantastic. Dude. Um, so I hope this works out for you Dave because uh, for me so far at least for today um, the lights has been on the entire time and not a single thing has shown as you can see so I'm very 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 happy um, I hope nobody gets this and if they do well you can follow these steps alright guys thank you guys take care peace